Hey guys, so you probably heard about LED projectors and maybe you even have one at home. But the latest trend in 2017 are laser projectors and especially those short distance projectors like the LG ProBeam UST. Today in this full review we'll see how good they really are. So let's go. The UST in the name stands here for Ultra Short Throw Projector and I recently moved office and now I have a small spare wall where I thought for movie nights and a bit of gaming a short distance projector might be handy. Now LG recently launched the LG ProBeam UST and provided me with two units. So that's why you can soon win one of these useful devices. So when most people think about projectors, they likely imagine big bulky pieces of hardware that require plenty of space to set up and are super expensive. Now LG has unwheeled a pair of projectors at EFM Berlin this fall, so the ProBeam UST and the MiniBeam, and they are built to make the installation simple and portable setups possible. The ProBeam offers a full HD content in a ultra short throw design for an immersive theater experience. Unlike other projectors, it requires only 12 cm to display a 100 inch content and can be placed even in furniture. It's quite interesting to see this project in action because the optics inside is a technical masterpiece. Just imagine yourself holding a torchlight and shine it up a wall, so you will see how the circular light spreads out. The projector has to do a lot of keystone correction to pre-distort the picture and display a perfect 16x9 image again. It generates up to 1500 lumens of brightness, which is 1.5 times brighter than its predecessor. The laser light source has one big advantage over conventional projectors, and this is the lifetime of 20,000 hours. So that equals 833 days or 2.3 years of constant playback, so you never need to worry about changing the light source. LASER stands for Light Amplification by Stimulated Emission of Radiation, which sounds a bit scary first, but has a lot of advantages like a long lifetime, increased light output with less heat generation, and support for wider color gamut and a more precise color saturation. Usually I hate it when I'm watching a movie and somebody stands up and then there is a shadow and destroys the picture. The ProBeam UST sits directly in front of the screen so you won't have to worry about shadows being cast by objects that wander into the projector's path. We watch Netflix or Amazon video most of the time, and usually our Xbox is connected to the projector and runs the apps, which makes it hard if you want other people to access your projector and play back some movies or show pictures. The LG projector offers flexibility with Bluetooth connectivity for pairing up wireless speakers or headphones and sharing your smartphone screen over Wi-Fi. The UST is also equipped with LG's WebOS Smart TV Operating System, enabling us to stream content from streaming apps like Netflix, Hulu and YouTube without having our Xbox running in the background and generating additional noise. Inside of the box you will find the projector with a power supply and a remote control. The projector comes also with a great remote that has a gyroscope included and can be used to easily navigate through WebOS or the settings. This feels really convenient and way better than the remotes I've seen on other projectors. The Magic Remote also includes voice search with a pretty good voice detection and it's basically like all those devices you can buy extra but it's included here in the LG projector. The image quality is pretty good, even though I have to say the 500 more lumens on the HF80JS we have tested are noticeable. The laser light source also makes a high contrast ratio of 150,000 by 1 possible and the picture looks crisp. We tried some gaming on the projector and couldn't notice a huge delay, so it feels perfectly fine just like a screen. We don't have proper gear here to measure the latency exactly, but I can guarantee you that also fast FPS games and racing games will be totally playable with good image quality. For sure you can also calibrate the projector and set it to your favorite settings, which match your environment conditions. There's auto keystone and it may not be perfect if your wall is a bit curved, but in the settings you can always tweak it manually. And there you have plenty of options regarding the projector positioning while ensuring proper adjustment with horizontal and vertical distortion. The image quality is easily a match for most HDTVs and low cost home theater projectors. There are no leading edge home theater features like 4K or HDR and there is no 3D. 
but the image quality can stand toe to toe with most 1080p displays for film and video. As for connectivity, the ProBeam USD comes with LG's WebOS Smart TV platform and integrates with wireless speakers or headphones, making the transition from a projector to a full-blown home entertainment system a seamless experience. So you can connect it to any Bluetooth speaker or sound system you want, or use the 3 watts dual built-in speakers. The sound quality is good, but it sounds a bit flat, so if you want to have more bass and clarity, there is no way around a proper sound system. But it's suitable to watch movies and fill normal sized rooms without a problem. The projector isn't really noisy, for sure you can hear it, but the output of 28 decibel at energy saving is reasonable, and after some time barely noticeable. However, in performance mode you definitely hear the fan spinning. It's really portable because of its size and weight of around 3 kilograms, and also a good solution for office work. At the top you'll find a power button and a focus adjuster, and on the back side all the connectors like on the HF ADJS. There are two USB ports to connect external media like USB drives, an optical audio out and a 3.5mm headphone jack to connect to your sound system, an Ethernet port for network connection, two HDMI ports and last but not least a power jack. The projector uses 140 watts maximum, which is really not a lot for a projector and is made possible by the efficient laser light source. LG's WebOS includes a bunch of streaming services, which make additional devices unnecessary. So there is Netflix, Amazon Prime TV, Rakuten and many many more which you can download from the LG store. However, if you want, you can still connect a console or a streaming box with your own OS. So WebOS works fine, but sometimes I just feel it could be much smoother like on my Android TV box. But still, it's good for simple tasks and may need nothing else than the project itself. But also, you will experience some small waiting times. So LG's WebOS is definitely not that polished like Android TV, but I would say it gets the job done. Now streaming content from your smartphone is super easy, and you can also connect your laptop wirelessly to your projector. It's pretty cool to watch movies directly from your phone on the projector, show your latest pictures to your friends, or just enjoy some music or play games. There is also a web browser that works ok and even does video and file playback, and also the projector features a tiny built-in storage to save data. So if you run out of storage, you can always connect an external hard drive or USB drive to extend it or play back your media. So all in all, this laser project looks great. It's small, delivers a crisp, high contrast and very bright picture, and due to the laser technology, its expected lifetime is way higher than conventional projectors. Although it's not cheap, I think for the price it delivers something that has not been there before. A small home cinema solution that can even be hidden in your furniture. Alright guys, so we're now here at the end of this review and here comes quickly my personal opinion and something about my personal life and this projector. So I recently moved office and house. So basically um, the house is still not finished, so it's like 100 years old, we're currently renovating, restructuring the rooms. And it's not very hard to define, yeah, uh, the room will be there, the projector will be there and will mount it on the ceiling or mount it on the wall, in the furniture, whatever. So it's actually pretty cool to have that one because I can just go into another room, just um, plug it into the power socket and have basically a huge screen on any wall. My walls are not perfect, so they're a little bit curved, so I have to play a little bit with the keystone, like to get a really good picture. On those ultra short throw distance projectors, as you can see the optics right over here, it's a little bit harder than on conventional projectors because they just really project a straight image on the wall. And here there's a lot of keystoning involved. Anyway, it's working pretty good and also I like that it has the operating system included. Now WebOS really, it's not perfect. So if you have for instance, um, yeah, you know those Android sticks which you can plug in on HDMI, well, perfectly nice. It's even a little bit better than WebOS, because WebOS can be a little bit laggy from time to time. But I just see it from this point of view, if it's not a stationary projector, this is pretty cool, because you have like all your data on the device, you can plug in a USB drive with your media files or office work, just go to your friend, um, yeah, connect it to a power socket, connect to Wi-Fi, and boom, there you go, you have Netflix. 
And also the opportunity to stream your smartphone screen to the project in general is a very cool thing. So well, um, it's definitely bright enough. It's not the brightest one on the market, but still I have to say under daylight conditions you can watch, but for sure you should always close your curtains, then the image is even better. So for the price, I mean, it's okay, it's reasonable. I will probably use it in my living room when I get my final furniture so I can really plan because right now I just go to a wall, plug it in and just watch something. Like you've probably seen our truth about the iPhone video, we've used it here on this wall and the keystone was not perfect because I had no idea how this works. But now once you know what to adjust, how to adjust the focus, it actually works perfectly fine. So if you're looking for a projector and you have very limited space, just like me, then this projector does actually a pretty good job. For sure it's um, a little bit expensive, but I had a couple of Chinese projectors in the past and yeah, um, they were like cheap, 600 euros. So I bought an LED projector, but it's so super loud. If you watch a movie, it's just really annoying because the fans are louder than the internal speakers. Here the speakers are very loud. Still the fans are also a little bit noisy at maximum, um, you know, power consumption. But still, I think um, it's quite okay also if you don't have a sound system just to, just to watch something. But if you're an audio field person, for sure, you need to go with a sound system also on these projectors. Alright guys, that was my personal opinion, something about my personal life. There will be soon a room tour, new house tour, new office tour, but it will take some time. So well, there will be a giveaway very soon, so stay tuned about that. We have actually two units and you will soon be able to win one of these. Big thanks at this point to LG for providing the project, uh, supporting our channel. We are very thankful for that. And also it's so great that we can give you guys something back in form of a project. So stay tuned for the giveaway video probably next week. Have a nice day and I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one.